Hello, I'm Mark Fairbanks. I'm second in charge of English at Beacon Academy, and I'm also in charge of Studies of English at our sixth form. I want to tell you about English at Beacon Sixth Form, which I think is a real success story. Over the last four years, all our students have left with at least a C grade. Ninety-three percent of our students have earned a B grade or above, and fifty percent of our students, half the students on the course have left us with an A or an A star at A-level English Literature. This success is a testimony to the expertise and dedication of our teachers, but also to the enthusiasm for the, for the study of literature which is demonstrated by our students. In our department, every student who can demonstrate that he or she wishes to, wishes to succeed, does succeed. And our English Literature A-level course, I think, strikes a balance between a focus on a core of significant plays and poems, and also opportunities for wider reading and investigation in prose texts, novels and short stories. Our students explore their collections of poetry by Carolyn Duffy, Philip Larkin and Geoffrey Chaucer. They're given the opportunity to look in detail at the work of each poet, developing their own skills as lively readers and critics. Students will also read plays by Tennessee Williams, John Webster's famous revenge tragedy, The Duchess of Malfi, and a play by William Shakespeare. In each case, they study the context in which these plays are written and the many different ways in which these plays have been received through performance and through criticism, as well, of course, as the texts themselves in a lot of detail. In addition to these core exam texts, students are given a free choice of any two works of literary fiction for their extended research project. One text must be written before the year 2000 and one more recently. So in practice, our students work in collaboration with their teachers, to identify text to help them give a short list of potential wider reading, to find things they might find interesting, and also to come up with titles for their coursework, essays which challenge our students and push them towards study at university, but also feed their existing interests. This combination of focused expert teaching by our staff, alongside genuine independence and intellectual curiosity on the part of our students, makes this a really exciting and rewarding course for everyone involved. But don't just take my word for it. Some of our current students have been kind enough to give us their thoughts on what they enjoy most about English. I would say that English A-level is different to GCSE because we study probably a, a wider range of books and we also have more in-depth discussions. I enjoyed the poetry probably the most because I already have an interest in poetry and it's just quite nice to come into lessons and do something that you really enjoy. And Caroline Duffy and Philip Larkin are both really interesting poets. Uh, I picked A-level English because I really enjoyed the GCSE course and I was looking forward to taking it further to some extent. So when I looked through the, the what we were doing at the A-level, I wanted to, to uh, further this sort of analysis and in-depth discussion. Good. Uh, is A-level different to GCSE, do you think? Yes, it, it's different, but not in an intimidating way. I'd say it's different to the extent that it's... It's, it's more thoughtful, I guess. With the GCSE, it's quite prescribed how you think about things, whereas this, you're, it's much more open to discussion. It's very different from GCSE, but I think it's a lot better because it's a lot more interesting and the subjects that you study within it are a lot more, there's like a lot better content than GCSE. Uh, I really enjoyed Chaucer and Duchess of Malfi so far because they're quite like humorous and there's a lot content there which is interesting. Uh, I want to go on to do English literature um, in uni but I also want to go into something like journalism or writing so I think English will be really helpful for that. As well as talking to students I also talked to our English teachers here at Beacon Academy and they told us a little about why they still value the English literature A-level qualification they obtained some time ago. Hello, my name is Miss James. I'm an assistant head teacher at Beacon Academy and I also teach English Literature A Level. I think one of the things I really value about teaching English Literature A Level is the opportunity to discuss really interesting ideas, poets and writers from across time and their different views about the world. The lessons have a lot of opportunity for discussion and exploration of different ideas, which is perhaps very different, I think, to GCSE. When I think back to my own English Literature A-Level, 
What I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed writers like D.H. Lawrence, I really enjoyed Chaucer. You get the opportunity to study Chaucer, a medieval writer, which is very different from anything you've come across before, but is also a very rude, very funny story. We also study poets. We study Carol Ann Duffy and Philip Larkin. They offer really interesting insights on the world that we live in, and I like talking about those with the young people in my class. It felt really exciting to be able to explore a subject that I really loved at GCSE in a much more independent way. And I think for me that was the, the main thing that I enjoyed about English A level. And I really liked that I wasn't told what to think. I was able to kind of work things out for myself and, and um, you know, kind of draw inferences from things and then able to explore those in my writing a lot more than I was able to at GCSE. What I loved about studying English at A-level was firstly being in a much smaller group, so there's so much more opportunity to talk and think things through and share ideas in a much smaller class. But I also really enjoyed being asked to read so much more and being asked to read things that I wouldn't have chosen to do independently. And I felt this sort of pushed and tested my knowledge and sort of... Um, ideas about what I thought was interesting and exciting to read and it was that really that then pushed me on to go on to do it at university. I personally found it, possibly of all my A-levels, the most liberating because there was so much opportunity to talk and think. For those of you looking for a few more details about the actual content of the course, I'll just go quickly through exactly how students will be assessed. There are three exams. first exam is on poetry. Now, one big selling point with this exam is it's an open book exam. Students can take blank copies of all the poems into the exam, so although they need to know them well in advance, they don't need to memorise them. The first hour of the poetry exam is about Chaucer's Merchant's Tale, which students are asked to analyse a short extract from a poem and then to write a longer essay considering bigger issues around that poem. The second half of the poetry exam involves our uh, Carol Ann Duffy and Philip Larkin poems. In this case, it's a choice of two questions. Students generally enjoy this part of the exam because it means they can pick from a selection of poems they knew well and pick the poems that really interest them rather than the given name poem. I think that's a real strength in this course. The second exam is drama. Now, the first half of drama is based on a Shakespeare play. For us, that's Henry IV, Part One. Again, it's a short extract to look at and a bigger question in which they're considering issues within the play, the context which the play is produced. We do a lot of work preparing for that exam. The second half of drama is all about comparing Duchess of Malfi and Street Corner and Desire. Those two plays that have a lot in common, both with strong female protagonists, both have some terrible, awful things happen to them and desperately sad endings. So there's a lot of comparison that students can draw and generally students come out of that exam looking pretty happy. The third exam is a little bit different, it's based on unseen texts. So 80% of the course is examined, ex examined externally, the remaining 20% is that essay I mentioned right at the start. So that's the course. We think it really works for us. We know our students are successful in this course, we know they enjoy it. Please come along and join us studying English Literature at Beacon Academy 6th Form.